Hey guys, welcome back to Vanguard Motor Sales. Look what I've got for you today. I got something big and exciting. Look at this thing, 1990. Now it's badged as a GMC, but she was born a Chevrolet. Why they badged it as GMC, you're gonna have to ask the previous owner that question. But this baby's got a 454 under the hood. She's four by four, she's a crew cab, she's black, she's completely restored, inside, outside, upside down. I mean, this thing is absolutely gorgeous. This black paint is just beautiful as can be. The body work on it is absolutely phenomenal. You can see that all the bright work also looks great on it. I tell you, this is one beautiful monster truck right here. Take this thing anywhere, you're gonna draw a crowd. Now, I used to own an 87 crew cab and we had a blast with it, but it wasn't four wheel drive. I tell you, I wish I had that truck back. Look down the side of this long black beauty. Can you imagine how many hours there was blocking this thing out to get this black paint that slick? that nice. I mean, she is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, all the reflections are looking all, I mean, as I walk by, I mean, I see no wobbles in the paint. I mean, it is straight. Of course, an eight foot bed, look at that eight foot long line. It is straight and as pronounced as can be, just beautiful. Then of course, we got the three plus three badge. Mine had the same thing on it. Of course, open up the back door, look in there. Everything looking brand new in there also. We used to strap my three boys in the back seat of, uh, of ours. We actually pulled the boat around with ours. Look at that door panel there. This is bringing back some memories for sure. She is a beauty. All the upholstery looks new, the carpeting looks new, the seat belts look new. I mean, everything on this truck just looks absolutely beautiful and brand new. Thousands and thousands of hours spent restoring this truck. Probably one of the nicest in the country, for sure. 454 power, four by four, four doors, of course, GMC, or Chevrolet, called it three plus three. Step bumper, of course, it looks brand new. Tail panel looks brand new. We got clearance lights on the back. And then look at the bed. I'm pretty sure this baby didn't do a day's work ever. Look at how flat that bed is. I don't know if there's enough time for any body man to go through all the work it would take to make that bed look that good. The only thing I can think is it was that good when he started. Of course, the tailgate's just operating smooth as can be, looking slick as can be. And look down the passenger side. Can you see that far, man? I tell you what, I need binoculars to see the front of this truck from here. All these reflections also looking absolutely gorgeous. Now at Vanguard Motor Sales, we don't do any consignment whatsoever. So we lay out our money so you know we spend the time to check our vehicles out before we bring them here to the shop. And a lot of you may be wondering what that means to you. Most classic car dealers sell on consignment. They sell just about anything that'll roll through the door and they don't know much about the cars. Finding a Vanguard quality car isn't easy. Our team of 15 buyers review thousands of vehicles each month. Our inspectors travel all over the country to handpick each of our cars, which saves you time, money, and frustration. Think of us as your expert hands, eyes, and ears to make sure that you end up with the highest quality car. We have almost 50 team members here at Vanguard, and every one of us is a gearhead. Growing up around the Motor City, all of our families worked in the auto industry. I grew up working in the garage with my dad, and we worked on countless classics over the years. Around here, cars are a way of life.
Real four wheeling, baby. 1990, real deal, four door, four by four. Of course, they called it a three plus three because you could get three in the front, three in the back. I like mine better, four by four, four by four, four door. <laughs> Oh, and then another song comes to mind. Give me 40 acres and I'll turn this rig around. It's the easiest way that I've found. Good thing I'm not a singer, right? I love this thing. I think I, I don't know if I said it earlier in the video, but I've told a thousand people. I had an 87 four door. It wasn't a four wheel drive. It was a camper special. I love that truck. We just kept it hooked up to our boat. Come home from work, me and the kids, all three boys and the wife would head down to the lake. That was some of the funnest times. A lot of memories. I should be keeping this truck, I tell you what. I'm in love with this baby. And don't forget, we can ship it anywhere in the world. Just give Tom a call. He'll explain the whole process to you. Now look down here on the dash, everything looks brand new. Now the brake light is on. I believe that's the emergency brake switch hanging up. I got the guys checking that out. It's either the proportioning valve or the uh, emergency brake switch. We'll get that all figured out. Other than that, everything on this thing is stock. It's pretty much a stock 1990 besides the uh, lift kit on it. Drive this thing anywhere, you're gonna have a crew of people following you. This thing is amazing. Take it to the truck shows, the car shows, the ice cream shop, or hook it up to your boat. Take it to the lake, like I did. Now I wanna thank all of you who have subscribed to our channel. We have over 1.5 million followers right now, or subscribers, I should say. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do. That will help us out a lot. You hit that little bell button, you'll get a notification every time we get something cool like this in. And we're getting about 40 a month in. We're back at the shop right now. We're located right here in the Motor City at 15100 Keel Street in Plymouth, Michigan. This building is where our team of 15 world-class mechanics inspect and improve every one of our cars. All of our work is done in-house. Our mechanics only service the vehicles we sell. We start with a thorough inspection and test drive. Then our team gets to work. We take the time to learn each car and fix the things that I would fix if it was mine. If that means the engine needs to come out, then it comes out. When you purchase a classic car from an auction or another dealer, in most cases it hasn't been inspected or serviced. You may be in for some unpleasant surprises. At Vanguard, we save you from the headaches that cost you time and money by handling this process for you. Right down the road is our 40,000 square foot indoor showroom. This building is climate controlled and houses over 100 amazing vehicles. We're constantly bringing in new inventory so you never know what might show up tomorrow. We are underneath this beast now and it is just as pretty on the bottom side. Look at this thing. Gotta be one of the nicest looking 1990 Chevrolet slash GMC pickup trucks on the planet, especially a four wheel drive four door. You can see this big truck we're in. Now, previous owner rebuilt everything, says new bearings, new center section, whole nine yards. It is an open rear end and it is a 410 gear. You can see all the lines, everything brand new, the shocks brand new, the U-bolts brand new. Spring packs are new because this is a four inch lift. You can see that they painted up the brakes. We got the drum brakes out back and our guys will still pull those apart, and make sure they're in good working order. Great looking paint job on the drive shaft. The gas tanks, the fuel pumps, everything brand new. Got a Flowmaster muffler on this thing. We got two into one here, which is super cool. Carrier bearings brand new. And look at the paint job on the bottom side of the bed. Not the bed, but the cab. The bed's back there. Of course, I got brand new um, body bushings here, brand new lines going front to back. All the fuel lines, all the brake lines. 
transfer case has been completely gone through. Every knot, every bolt looks like it's brand new. You can go to our website and check out the close-up pictures of it also at vanguardmotorsales.com. You can see there's a new body uh, mount right there. See all new bushings on the springs. Of course, the uh, four-inch lift springs up front also. I mean, everything under here is just clean as a whistle. We've got a big sway bar here. I mean, the, it's got disc brakes up front. The U-joints are uh, rebuilt up front. Um, it's got some killer, um, you're gonna swing back around here. Take a look at these ball joints here. Are these things monsters or what? And of course, they're all brand new. I mean, this looks like a 1990 pickup truck right off the line in 1990, baby. She is gorgeous. I absolutely love this truck. And then here's your tow hooks right here for pulling your buddies out of the mud. We're gonna lower this thing down right now. After we take a look at the tires, we're gonna look under that hood too. Now look at these babies. Now we got the lockout hubs. For those of you who don't know how these work, when they're on free, the tire spins freely without turning the rear end. When you put them in lock, that locks it into the rear end. And if you get this thing hung up where you gotta get the four wheel drive engaged, it does not go in automatically. You gotta get out and put it in lock. Mickey Thompson's here and the size is, oh, where's the size? Oh, here it is. 315 75-16s. Great looking Mickey Thompson rims also, man. These uh, aluminums are all polished up looking good. Now look down the side of this big, long, black beast. Look at all those reflections in that beautiful black paint. Rocker looks great. The paint work on the frame looks great. The paint work on the bottom of the cab looks great. I mean, this guy didn't know where to stop. He did it all. And you want to talk about long and black? This baby is. Of course, we've got the same size tire and wheel back here also. And they are eight lugs too, for those of you who don't notice all those lug nuts. Even the wheel well, look how nice and clean that wheel well is. This thing is absolutely gorgeous, guys. We're going to lower it down right now. Just like the rest of the truck, everything under the hood looks like it's brand new. Now, this is a rebuilt 454 in here. Uh, just like they rebuilt the transmission, they rebuilt the transfer case, they rebuilt the front and the rear rear ends. Uh, it's got Hydra Boost on it. They even have the jack and the lug wrench in here that would have come from the factory. Every line looks new. Every piece of wiring looks new. I mean, everything on this thing is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, just like back in uh, 1990. I mean, she is beautiful. You see all the aluminum lines. Everything's all shined up looking good. Firewall's all painted up looking good. And those, um, we actually decoded the VIN on this thing. The very first digit's a one, and that says it's built in the U.S. The GC says it's a Chevy truck, and like I said before, it's got the GM badging. Why they did that, I don't have a clue. The H tells us it's a 10,000 GVW. The V tells us it's a real four by four. The three tells us it's a one ton. The next three tells us it was born a four door. The N tells us it was born with a 454. Uh, the L tells us it's on 1990. And the F tells us it was built in Flint like a lot of other Chevrolet and GMC trucks. Guys, give us a call, 248-974-9513. And let Vanguard Motor Sales park this little dream in your driveway.